Thank you so much for coming to help. Oh my gosh, it's seriously a lifesaver. I really appreciate it. What? You are born to be a model. You're a babe. Mm hmm. Trust me. Once I'm finished giving you my little makeover, you're gonna look so stunning, queen, that you're gonna just be feeling yourself and you'll just instantly become like tar banks or something. Trust me. And plus, you know me. I can guide you and tell you how to pose and position you so that we get the exact angle. Don't worry. Mm, I would never make you look bad. Don't even. <laughs> you can look amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, I did toy with the idea of having like real models to help show off the clothes, but um, it's just something so much more real about, you know, friends, people like you, somebody I love and think is really beautiful, so, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so those are all the clothes back there. We'll probably shoot you in a few of the looks, probably not all of them, because we'll mix it up with some of the other girls that we've got coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. I know it's always been a dream to have my own clothing line. I know, I always talked about that, didn't we? <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, today will just be kind of, I guess, more like a tester shoot. Just to play around with the hair and the makeup and to kind of see what would be like the best kind of thing for you. What matches best. You know, I'm not an expert and I find the greatest way is really just to play around and experiment. So, um... We'll just have fun today. Don't stress too much about it. Um, by the time we actually do the full photo shoot, um, you'll all feel really confident and ready. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so perhaps we should... Well, okay, I guess we'll cleanse you and get you all prepped, but then I think I might grab the clothes and try to figure out what outfits so that I can then kind of brainstorm makeup based on that. So, you're not wearing any makeup or anything, are you, right now? <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just gonna do a very, very gentle, quick cleansing with the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I feel like yeah, I've used this on you before because it's my favorite cleanser. It's probably like the only one I really use on anybody. It's just really gentle. Perfect for everybody's skin, whether it be acne prone or dry or oily or sensitive. It's good for everyone, including my own skin, which is very um, sensitive. It's like um, very emotional, you know? <laughs> One little thing and it has a heart attack. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I'm just gonna use this lid. Earl cleanser. Like so it smells so good. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna close your eyes just in case, but I'm just gonna rub this into your forehead. Sweep it down your nose and on your cheeks and your chin. Mm, right? That's why so many about cream cleansers. They're just so gentle and soothing. Especially like pre photo shoot. The last thing we want is to make your skin have any type of reaction. We want you to be nice and soft. on an angry skin day for a photo shoot. But we must accept angry skin days because they just happen to everyone. <laughs> we'll do our best to keep them happy. Okay, so now your skin's nice and clean. We can definitely start prepping the base. I've been really 
liking using your facial spray lately as like the first step. Oh, yeah, well that makes sense. You've always been really good at makeup. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use a facial spray first to like refresh your skin and make it feel really nice and healthy and vibrant. Um, and then we'll do some moisturizer. I basically want a very simple, no makeup makeup type of look. A very kind of me vibe. Might do a kind of simple, neutral, kind of your lips but better type of lip. And of course we'll do nice dainty gold jewelry and then as you can see back there. I'm thinking I have a couple of really beautiful like pink, really feminine dresses. This one in particular I think would look really good on you. So um, I'm going to kind of keep that in mind. Um, but I think overall we'll probably just do a nice neutral. A makeup look and if her hair hmm I mean I do kind of just like how you have it right now hmm. yeah okay so we could maybe just go over it with the straightener and add a little bit of wave mm -hmm. you know how people do that like that yeah mm -hmm. I think that could look nice for sure <laughs> I mean your hair always looks good yes it does anyway always says that your hair is like, yeah, realistically, I'm only getting in a model because your hair is pretty. <laughs> okay, have you tried this before? It's the Mario, Mar Mario Badescu, Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. It smells really freaking good. And I feel like you could probably use this even after. Oh yeah, look. Okay, it says, once you've tried our rejuvenating facial spray, you won't want to be without it. Used to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or to give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. Lightly mist over face and neck as needed. Yeah, so maybe we can use this after at the end, but I've been using it like at the very start to just give my skin that. Mm. Ready? Um, maybe just close your eyes. Actually, I can kind of like cover them a little. Is that okay? Okay. Hmm. I know it's honestly just like perfume or room spray. Mm. It's good, right? <laughs> moisturizer on you and I've been really liking this one lately this is by Good Molecules I feel like I might have shown you some of their other things before when you slipped over yeah exactly, I have some of their like um, facial serums and stuff, they're really good yeah, along the same kind of vibe as like The Ordinary um, same kind of price tag um, but just Good Molecules which is really pretty packaging I love how rainbow it is, right? So this is the silicone free priming moisturizer formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. I've been really enjoying this, so I'm just going to pop out a little bit on my hand. It's probably all you need. And again... We'll just rub that in because like I said, we really are going for a super glowy, fresh, vibrant, summery look, you know. Of course, when we actually shoot this next month in Arizona, it's going to be uh, super hot, so we won't maybe need to combat dehydrated kind of dry skin as much, but I imagine it'll still be cold here when we go, so I feel like our skin will still be on the drier side, even if we're like sweating <laughs> in the Arizona heat, you know? I know, I'm so excited. Like I said, like I'm so thankful that you're down to help out with modeling. Like I just don't want anybody else but like people I love like you. So I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, it's 
so now your skin's all nice and hydrated, moisturized, and primed, which I really find it helps with the uh, pore holes. What is it called? You know, like, and there's all the little dips in your skin. I feel like this helps a little bit with that. Okay, perfect. So, now your skin is all nice and smooth and prepped and ready. We can start by applying a foundation. I think this is going to match you, but that's another reason why testing things out beforehand is a good idea. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation in 160C. It's really, really good, nice, luminous foundation. So it's again going for that glowy look, but it's still on the higher coverage so we can get that full face effect that we're going to be going for at the same time. And I'm going to apply this, I think, with a sponge. This one's damp here. So I'm just going to pop a little bit onto the back of my hand. I think I'll start, if you don't mind looking up, I'm just going to do first, right under your eyes, because that's like, I really want the under eyes to be nice and bright, like you've really got a ton of sleep, like one quiz clothing, you know, makes you sleep well, <laughs> and then we can just bring it up, and over, I feel like this color for sure. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just tap, 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 tap. I'm really liking makeup sponges at the moment. It's just such a lovely way to get that flawless, nice airbrushed finish. Mm hmm. There we go. And then we'll just go in with a little bit of concealer as well. I like this brush a lot. Um, this is the Kat Von D concealer brush. Um, and I'm gonna go in with some of this Tarte concealer. It's such high coverage. It's so, so effective. And we're just gonna, again, start by topping the color into very inner corner of your eye there. Mm-hmm. Just nice brighten it up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm just gonna bring a little bit around the nose. A little bit onto the chin there. I'm gonna bring a little bit up here as well, just to kind of um highlight and contour with the concealer. I really love this brush. It makes blending so easy. And getting into those corners can be difficult to reach sometimes. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. And... Oh, yeah. Let's just take the sponge and just tap that a little. Just to soften it out a bit. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm, yes, queen. Already look magnificent. <laughs> okay, um, oh yeah, I want to try baking because, again, this is a full day Arizona heat photo shoot. We're gonna need some sort of caking situation to make it really last, and then I guess we can kind of top it off with lots of highlighter to really oomph up the glow a bit more. I'm gonna use this one though. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercier. Okay, so just 
just with the same sponge, I'm just going to take a little bit of the powder and add like quite an excess of it just to really set the concealer in place because I do really want the under eyes to be nice and bright. And then just a little bit out there. Yeah, and then you kind of wipe it away after. Yeah, right? It seems to work well for people, at least. Okay, and so we'll just leave that for a little and let it kind of settle in. Why don't we maybe try doing a little bit of contour? I've been really enjoying this lately. I found it in the back of a makeup drawer. I thought that I had lost it or something. I was really excited. <laughs> yeah, I finally cleaned up. So this though is the Bondi Bay Nude Sticks. It took me a while to figure out like the best method for application. Um, at first, what I kind of struggled with. Oh, I forgot that that was a thing. Cool. So come to the brush on this side, but um, I found that difficult because it was like you but then are supposed to like put the stick directly to your face. I tried that and I couldn't get it to just blend nicely. So what I found to be really effective is to take my little contour brush and go into this picks up product really nicely and then it blends so so magnificently. So much better than like a powder contour. I'm really into it. So we're just gonna Brush upward right here, underneath that kind of natural line that you've got. You've got lovely cheekbones, don't you? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you weren't always a model? <laughs> Little down jawline. So you look nice and snatched. And then we'll do the stop on as well. Hmm. on the forehead, like so, and take the teensiest little bit on a contour on the sides of your nose there, just to touch, and a little underneath the nose as well. Mm, and actually, I'm just going to run a little underneath your lip as well, and make that look a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. So this is um, something new in my makeup life. It's by Elaine Cosmetics. This is the Universal Cream. So again, it's a cream blusher in the shade of Love, which is this beautiful bright pink. And um, the packaging is all bamboo, so it's biodegradable, and you can also just get like a new pan of the color and refill it, so you don't create any just really cool and obviously it's all like really natural ingredients and vegan and all that magical good stuff so I've been really liking it and I like to use a brush like this for applying I just find it gets like the best kind of spread and then just tap 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 onto your skin and do a little more on the side just on the apples of the cheeks on a great bit of a face lifty effect. Mm -hmm. It's such a pretty color. Yeah, it has a mirror on the side too. Mm -hmm. And then to finish off, we're going to do highlighter. 
been enjoying this one at the moment. This is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in Incandescent Electra. It's really pretty. It's got a bit of a peachy color to it as well, so again, I think with the tan, all of that it will look really good. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush and get some and then just pop it on the tops of your cheekbones your cupid's bow and I also have been enjoying doing like a little bit on the very tip of the nose and then kind of halfway down the bridge mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm just going to use a little pencil brush with the same highlighter and just pop a little bit into the big and full. I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, okay, so... Can you close your eyes for a sec? I'm trying to think what kind of eyeshadow I want to do. I think I'm just gonna do, like, such a simple, like, not really kind of look like you have eyeshadow on, but like you do have eyeshadow on kind of vibe. Okay, yeah, let's try out this palette. This is just a little color pop like you know DIY palettes that you can make and so I'm gonna take oh, this luscious pinky shade I think it's called um, let me explain and I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna grab some of that beautiful pinky shade and close your eyes again and I'm gonna sweep it literally up on the outer corner. Mm. Like so. Mm. To the other eye at the same time. Mm. I love this color. <laughs> you know I feel about sparkly eyeshadow. Yeah. I think that will look really good with the pink um, dress as well. So I think I'm just gonna take like the tiniest little bit on the same brush. This is glittery brown shade. Very, very subtle. Marking in your outer crease and just gently blend it in. Just, just a little. Not too much. I don't really want it to be like a smoky eye. I'm just looking for a little bit of definition. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, and then again, just the same thing. Just the littlest bit. Mm -hmm. And bring it in slightly, not too much. Only about halfway. <laughs> okay, I'm into that. Alright. Um, so, if you want to 
keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna go with this light cosmetics again. So again, it's all bamboo, which is amazing. It's a liquid liner. I'm gonna draw like the slightest. as well because it's curved. Mascara wants an art or so hard to like get into the little corners. Okay, then just look up and I'm just gonna do the bottom lashes a little. Just like the tiniest bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's put on a little perfume just because I want you to be feeling your best so that you know you work it a little bit more. It's really is true. When you feel like you look good, you just like pose better and everything. So let's even put on this. It's my favorite perfume. It's the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfume. And this is just a lovely like rollerball. It smells like the beach. So I'll just put a little on your neck, a little on your wrist, and just warm up them. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it smell? Yeah, it's like Hawaii in a bottle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna grab some lipstick and some clothing. Why don't you just sit and hang with River while I kind of figure out what um, lipstick and outfit I want to try you in, okay? Okay, so I grabbed the outfits that I'm thinking of putting you in and the makeup and everything. All my favorite lippies. And this little glossy bag. These are so handy. 
looking great for a child's length, of course. And I think I want to use this lip color. It's a really beautiful browny pinky kind of neutral shade. It's hot gossip and it's just the Charlotte Tilbury liner, the lip cheek liner. So I'm just gonna draw around her lips a little here. Just a touch. And down the bottom as well. Make them look really nice and full. And then for actual coloring, we're gonna use the Pillow Talk Lipstick by Charlotte Dupree, which is my favorite go-to shade. It's really beautiful. And again, it's just a perfect, you know, neutral pinky brown. So, that way all the clothing and those colors really stand out. Um, then I was thinking we could put your hair up actually instead of the wavy thing we were thinking because I remembered that I got this hair clip to style with a couple of the outfits so I guess we'll just brush your hair back first we're just gonna pull it into one of those like half well I guess it's a full do like a back kind of ponytail to the side so it's like a metal parting and still super chic looking and then I'm gonna just clip it with this baby. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I can feel okay. It feels comfortable. Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, so we'll do some earrings. I think these will be perfect for your hair up. They're like little gold hoops, but they've got this sort of tear droopy vibe, which is just cool. It adds a little different touch and effect. So let's pop that in there. <laughs> and then other ear. Does it feel okay? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna do a necklace. I'm really into just very simple, dainty little ones like this. It's just got a little golden square with like an angel, I think. Boots or chunky boots or something, and a little baggy bag. Aren't 
very cute. So yeah, those are the two I think I'd like to see you in first if you're down to start playing dress up and taking some pictures. You look lovely, by the way. Do you like it? <laughs> oh my god, no, like I seriously appreciate you so much for doing this and just for being my friend. And I'm so happy that um, we get to experience this together. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave you. You can try on the first outfit. Okay.